Hey, do you ever need to break up sketch entities or separate lines, arcs, or splines in Fusion 360? You can do that with the break tool. Let's look at it. So to use the break command, you're gonna to need to be in a sketch. I'm starting a brand new sketch. I'm selecting a plane and I'm gonna to choose to sketch a line. What I'd like to do is sketch this line. When you click on it, it's only one entity. So I can't really change anything. You can find break under modify break, or you can use your S for search and look for break. It's right here, click it. And now when you hover, it's going to give you this little red X. This red X is going to give you a preview of what it's breaking. So in this case, I could either break this diagonal line or I can do this horizontal line. So it's a little subtle when you're hovering over it. And so you can see, I actually broke up this diagonal line into two lines. I'm gonna right click and go to repeat break. And now I'm gonna break it again so that I'm breaking the line I care about. If I don't need this line, I actually can select it and the other and delete them. You could make them construction, whatever is helpful there. And now I can add a dimension to make that 48. So now I have two segments to make up this complete line. Let's look at some more advanced examples. What if you had a bunch of angled lines and you wanted to break up this line entity into a few groups? You could do that. So we'll do break and we'll hover and click so that we can break this up. And when I hover, I'm seeing an entity here, one here. You can see it's only highlighting in blue the segment that exists. And now we can drag in a value for each segment if we want to. And this is where I use it as well is sometimes I need to break up, you know, a circle into a semicircle or I only want part of it. Introduce your line or your reference geometry. Go to break choose it and then just hover and click. And so now I have a semicircle. I've got the ability to add a radius because it's now seeing this is an arc and this is an arc. I could make this for construction so I can just use it for reference. So this is a cool way to keep some sketch geometry without trimming it, deleting it, get, getting rid of it so that you can still see it and use it as a reference. Now splines definitely work. So any other time, if I just select anything on this point, it's going to delete the whole thing. But in this case, I'm going to sketch some little dividers here, some ways to break this up and then introduce the break. And so now I'll click and add these breaks. And so you can see that it's breaking this up into segments that you can select. And I'm going to undo that, bring that back. So I have a segment, a segment, and so I can make these construction or I can edit them. I could come in and break this. Okay. So one last advanced example. I like how, if I were to sketch a line across this rectangle, I have one complete segment. And what I want to do is break it up and then have the lines behave very almost separate of each other. So I'm clicking, I'm hovering over the horizontal line getting near the red X, clicking it, staying on the horizontal line, clicking it. Okay, so I have these segments now. And when I have these constraints, I'm gonna select this perpendicular, delete it, and same for this one, so that it's not keeping it flat. I wanna be able to drag this up at an angle. I wanna drag uh, this one down, and I want these to behave separate of each other. And so these four segments now behave kind of independently of each other because we broke it up. Pretty cool. All right, so in summary, this is a powerful tool. Don't forget you can just come in and trim and remove entities quickly, but sometimes you wanna break them up into separate entities so that you can dimension them or you know do some other reference geometry. Thanks for watching guys. We're working our way through Fusion 360 features. I'll see you in the next one.